In this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Wii Remote that to the computer. Well, the PC right now. Anything? Yeah, anyway. So, what you need to do is I found that if you were using Windows 7 then it will be hard to connect the Wii Remote to the computer because like, I don't know, it's just weird. Um, what I found is if you if you've got the Wii Remote there, and as you can see, it's uh, already connected. But if you find trouble connecting it, go into devices, and if it's already there, what you're going to need to do is go on right click, remove device, go on yeah, and then wait till it removes it. Because then this way you can search for it again and add it again, and that should do the trick. So I'll just wait for that to remove it. There we go. So then when that's clear and there's not one there, and the light on the Wii Remote should have gone off now. And also, uh, I'm using an external a Bluetooth device. Uh, so I don't know if it's any different for an internal one but um, this is what it's like on my computer so you just go and add device and then what you're going to need to do now is keep pressing 1 and 2 together until it comes up should come up in a minute oh no, I'll stop that from running actually if the mouse wants to work. I'll just save that. Give me a sec. Save as that. That's probably already saved then. I tell me. Right, okay. So now press 1 and 2 and for some reason uh, it's already connected even though it doesn't say it there so that's just great but by this point it should have come up anyway and then you pair with it keep pressing 1 and 2 and then after that uh, pair it without a code and then just keep pressing 1 and 2 and then look down here and then it should be in this um, have the symbol for connecting and then once that's connected it with the little green symbol I can't exactly explain it but you know what it is and then so once that's connected it'll have a tick next to the symbol saying it's connected um, so you can probably close that now and then the light probably wouldn't be on by now like that I don't know why mine's like that it's never done that but it should just flash on and off like mine did one and two LEDs um, so then so once it's connected there anyway uh, you're gonna need to download GlovePi which you've probably all heard of if you're watching this, um, but if you know, uh, it basically emulates. Like, you can connect the Wii Remote and then emulate the keyboard with it, and emulate the mouse, and do cool stuff. Uh, and I'll put the link to that in the description. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into that. Go Pi, and then go on Pi Free. That's what mine says anyway. Yes. Right, and then you'll have this. I'll just maximise that. Um, you have a script that you can type in by yourself. You have GUI, uh, generated user interface, or something like that. And then variables, I haven't got a bloody clue what that is. Because uh, I'm not very, uh, I'm not an expert on this. So, uh, as I say, I'll 
um, I'll put the uh, script here. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to delete that. So it's just blank, and then paste the script that I'll put in the description into here. So it will sort of look like this. Um, you won't do this because it will just paste it into it. But I've called it infrared mouse. So it should look like this, just a load of random uh, random stuff. So, yeah. So once you've connected with your remote, by now um, it should be lit up blue, but I don't know if uh, mine was either last time. Um, it'll probably still be flashing, but if you run it, then it should come up with one light. Okay, so now um, what should happen? Hold on a minute. Yeah, so um, so as you can see, well, you probably can't. I've got a uh, a Wii remote sensor, which is what you're going to need for this because it's the infrared one not uh, the accelerometer because I prefer this one it's a lot better um, so and then what you can do is you can turn your Wii on which my Wii isn't up here so you can do this if you haven't got a uh, I'll show you that all I've got there is just two candles so you position them about the same width as the uh, um, the Wii sensor, like that, uh, and then just light them. I know this may seem a bit silly, but trust me, it works for some odd reason. I have no idea why. I don't do science and stuff. So, once those are both lit. Um, I've just realised, <laughs> may seem a bit silly, but my Wii remote, the reason it was on is because it was connected to the Wii downstairs. So that's why. So I'll go back to that now. Um, so what you're going to need to do is go on there and down there. Should be down there in the, the oh, what's it called? Okay. Dock, whatever it's called. Go on Bluetooth symbol, go on, add a device. And then this window will come up. Just leave the candles a minute. Yeah, there we go. Now I press one and two. Wii remote should come up. It's probably called Wii remote or some random numbers. Um, pair without using code. Should make that noise. Don't know if you heard that. Ah, here we go. And then it's that's the little symbol I was talking about down there. Probably can't see it, but it's got the little green circle going around it. So just keep pressing one and two, just keep pressing them together. Close that now. I'll shrink this glove pie for a minute. Optimus Prime. How's it going? Um, so yeah. Just wait till installing device driver software. Just wait till that's finished. Alright, so that's done now and now it's a tick and not a green circle going around it okay so you can come off that a little bit and it should this is what my Wii remote looks like now there two now it's one that's because it's connected to glove pie now ah now it's working now it's running so what I can do now way we remote not touching the mouse no trickery here using the Wii remote what oh, candles because that's infrared sauce or something like that if you can see that on there yeah there using the Wii remote now what you can see is is it's actually pretty accurate um, so I can 
shrink that now. Roll this league and have a shaky hand. Well, I don't know, but I will. Now, for some reason, for me, it doesn't work uh, on this glove pie box. This uh, script here. Uh, this. Uh, I don't know why it won't let me shrink this with using the Wii Remote. But then, and if that does it with you, just shrink that. And now, you can. Uh, got it as a mouse with your Wii Remote. I was trying this for ages and I couldn't find anything so uh, that's why I made this video. So basically the steps are connect your Wii Remote to a computer and if you're using Windows 7 or Vista, I don't know if it does it with that as well, you're going to need to remove the device from Bluetooth devices and then search for it again. That's what I had to do and it took me ages to find that out. <laughs> um, so then once the buttons are flashing on the Wii Remote Go into Glove Pie, paste the script into there, run it, and uh, either get two candles and put them about that width apart, um, or get the Wii sensor bar up there. And what you can do with that is you can plug it into the Wii, turn the Wii on, but make sure you've connected your Wii remote to Glove Pie first, and make sure that it's just one on. So then it doesn't connect to the Wii when you turn it on. Then the sensor bar will come on. I could show you it coming on, but the Wii's not up here. It was connected to the Wii downstairs. So that's my video on showing you how to connect your Wii Remote to the computer and use it as a mouse using the infrared uh, camera in the Wii Remote. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.